Dear students, my name is Dr. Amir Fawaz Zahoor and in this video we will talk about pyridine. Pyridine is a six-membered nitrogen containing heterocycle. It is the simplest member of azine type heterocycles and if we see one CH in benzene is replaced by nitrogen. So we start with senses of pyridine. First and very famous method for the senses of pyridine is Horn senses. This method requires four components in the reaction two molecules of beta dicarbonyls are used for example we have taken ethyl acetoacetate so two molecules of ethyl acetoacetate one molecule of aldehyde and amine they react together and form pyridine derivatives so two molecules of ethyl acetoacetate one molecule of aldehyde and one molecule of amine so we see the mechanism In the first step, the ethyl acetoacetate reacts with aldehyde in the presence of base. This method is called no vinagel condensation. Vinagel condensation. So base takes the proton from here and as a result enolate is formed this enolate is resonance stabilized over both the carbonyl groups but we will not draw resonance structures here and it will attack on the aldehyde so it attacks on here and as a result we get this intermediate and proton is taken from the reaction medium and base again abstracts the proton from here And this shifts here and water molecule is eliminated so we get alpha beta unsaturated molecule and as a result of condensation this molecule is obtained so this condensation is called no vinagel condensation because uh, this is modification of aldol condensation and we have dicarbonyls when dicarbonyl is used instead of a simple enolate then the reaction is called no vinagel condensa condensation and this is named after the uh, scientists who discovered this reaction so we can write down this uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound 
on one side we can write it like this So this is our component A for example and then we see the next step. The second molecule of ethyl acetoacetate now reacts with amine. And we know that when amine is allowed to react with ketone we get imine as product so minus h2o and we get this in this case we have two electrophiles one is keto group and other one is ester group but we know that ketone is more reactive as compared to ester group because in this case it has resonance and uh, due to resonance the electron density here is better or more as compared to here and therefore this is more electrophilic and would react with amine to get this imine and this imine as a result of tautomerism this shifts here this shifts here and we get this enamine so this enamine is our second component so now these two components react together so this is we can write it here so this is our component B and now we can wipe it out so A and B would now react and we can write the structure here and we can see that this is an enamine enamines are nucleophilic in nature we have studied this reaction already in case of uh, pyrrole and here we have alpha, alpha beta unsaturated molecule so this would shift here and this will attack here and this can shift here so as a result positive we get this intermediate and here again tautomerism would take place this would shift here and the lone pairs would be restored and this negative will take this proton so it can take this proton and as a result this O negative when it would get the proton from here it would become OH so it would be enol and this enol would be stabilized as ketone corresponding ketone so like this and here we have an ester group so we have now this molecule this amine will now react with this uh, ketone and as a result we know that during the formation of this molecule uh, the imine is formed and this imine is then tautomerized to form the enamine so same will ha happen here and uh, 
as a result of this we would get this structure and here we had uh, ester here also and uh, here methyl group here methyl group here ester this one the ester so we will get the dihydro derivative because two hydrogens are present here when we compare with pyridine so this is dihydro and these hydrogens are removed using suitable oxidizing reagent and as a result of it we get corresponding pyridine derivatives so this is our molecule so next synthesis next method is synthesis from acetylene acetylene aldehydes or ketones using same enamine which we used previously in harsh senses so this enamine can be made to react with acetylene aldehyde or ketone and similar reaction would occur in intermolecular michael addition or conjugate addition and as a result we will get this intermediate here ester and now tautomerization again would take place like in hard synthesis so this proton would shift here this would shift here and this oxygen can take this proton and as a result the enol form which would be formed will convert into corresponding ketone and we will get this molecule and in the end cyclization uh, can take place via dehydration because amine would react with this carbonyl compound this ketone to result into pyridine derivative minus water so this is the second method by which we can prepare pyridine derivatives so next method pyridine derivatives can also be prepared from 1,5 dicarbonyls for example if we have this diketone and it is allowed to react with ammonia ammonia will condense with these ketones and as a result we will get dihydropyridine derivative and uh, this can undergo oxidation two hydrogens will be removed and we will get pyridine derivatives in this case again 
condensation between carbonyl and ammonia would take place and as a result we would get this uh, enamine and this enamine will again condense here to give this molecule and this dihydropyridine will undergo dehydrogenation and as a result pyridine derivative would be obtained pyridine derivatives can also be synthesized via cycloaddition for example this is cobalt catalyzed co-oligomerization of nitriles with alkynes and as a result of cy uh, cycloaddition we get pyridine derivatives so these were few methods for the synthesis of pyridine if you have any question or any query please leave them in comment box thanks